for a while. That's right. Alabama kind of claims him still, believe it or not. Yes. You know, I know I was, I say, I'm 52 years old. This In Cold Blood, that was all during what period? 60? 65 it came out. Yeah, so I was like 66, 11, right. 12, 13, 14. I knew about it, and I just, it was good to kind of reintroduce myself to all that again. I yeah, guess. yeah, yeah. What was it like being Truman Capote for for several months? That must have been bizarre. Bizarre. I wouldn't. I don't know about bizarre. It was. Uh, you know, I probably worked on it for like four or five months, and we shot for a couple months and um, rehearsed for a couple weeks. Uh, bizarre. No, it was a job. It was something I had to yeah. work on. It was a character I created. It was a piece of work. You know what I mean? So it was, did you go uh, back and watch like the Dick Cavett shows or any of those real Truman Capote things, or did you try to? I mean, how'd you go about creating? What well, you I tried to. I, I actually watched more of footage of him at that uh, before that. You know, there's a great documentary the Maisel's brothers made called "The With Love from Truman." Mm -hmm. uh, that there was right when his when the book came out in Cold Blood, and I watched that a lot because that because this movie really has to do with pre talk show days. You mm -hmm. know, and I wanted to deal with that more than that. What What made him what he was? I mean, you, after watching this, I have my ideas, but what? Why do you think he was? the way he was as far as being so laser-like about his writing. I mean, what gave him that drive? To be, I think he wanted to be seen as one of the great writers of all time. I think that was important to him. Uh, and I think he also wanted to be not only respected that way, but loved. You know, I think he wanted, you know, a full, undivided attention based on that fact, you know. Um, but at the end of the day, he was a serious writer, you know, and that's something that I learned and I really got to know about him, you know, as a serious writer, you know, a very talented, gifted writer and somebody who was writing from a very, very young age and his skill and his uh, adeptness at, at that uh, at that task was, uh, was, was, you know, unparalleled in a lot of ways, you know, and I think a lot of writers did acknowledge that about him. So was he, was he honest with those people, with the criminals or not? I mean, I... I, don't, I, I was trying to decide at the end of the movie if he was or not. He's, he, he, he was like a lot of reporters that do anything to get a story, basically. But do you feel like, should I have gotten that, or am I misjudging that, that he was not truthful with them about what he was really trying to do? He wasn't. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the movies about yeah. He wasn't truthful with them. He would have told them that... Every time they ask, what have you well, written? Kind of, I, don't, I didn't want to see him as deceitful for some reason. Of course you don't, because you, you, cause there's part of you that understands why he's doing what he's doing. Yeah. You know what I mean? That, that there's a part of, him, part of you that understands that he needs to get the story, he needs to do what he needs to do to get the book made. And, and t he, t if he started being honest about what he called the book, mm -hmm. you know, what he had written, what he was looking for. He would, these guys might not, oh, they might close off, might close up, you know, right. might not stay open, you know. But uh, ultimately, the, there was a betrayal there that was pretty profound, you know, because these guys were going to be executed. And that's the thing you forget. But and, you, you know, know, he's torn about doing that. It's not his he's nature. Torn, he is very torn about doing it, but ultimately, them dying is something I think he wanted. Yeah. And, and that is pretty hard to deal with. Yeah, and I think a lot of reporters are torn. With sources and things like that, so I really felt that yes. you know, in your portrayal. Yes, absolutely, he is torn. Yes. Well, it's a it's a heck of a performance. I Thank mean, it you. Really is. I that's one reason I went to the trouble to make sure I'm here today because I think you know this is a great, memorable performance, one of the greats. Thank you. It really you. is one of the great ones. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, thank you very thank much. You, sir. It's very thank nice. You. Thank you. Right, you were Truman Capote, as far as.